Tonight, family, friends, and the community say goodbye to the Morgan State student killed in the blast that rocked Northwest Baltimore last week. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Coe. And I'm Vic Carter. The public viewing for Joseph Graham is being held as a drive through service to adhere to social distancing guidelines. That's not stopping the outpouring of support and love. And WJZ is live right now. Kelsey Kushner with how this young man is being remembered. Kelsey? Yeah, Denise Vick, all day we have seen family members and friends make their way inside that funeral home to pay their respects to Joseph Graham tonight. His uncle tells me it was painful walking inside and seeing his young nephew lying there. It's a very sad, sad time. It was a day full of emotion. Tuesday, friends and family members gathered at the Howell Funeral Home for a drive through viewing honoring the life of Joseph Graham. His uncle recalls the heartbreaking moment he saw Joseph inside. All the thing I could do was ask him to wake up. Looking at him, I just say, wake up. I wanted him to wake up. Graham was just 20 years old when he was killed during a gas explosion in northwest Baltimore. His family says he was a rising sophomore at Morgan State University pursuing a degree in electrical engineering. Family friends say he was a smart and talented young man whose life was taken too soon. From, from the time that he has grown up, he has grown into a very good young man. Joseph's uncle tells WJZ all they can do now is get through this difficult time together. There's nothing in the world that can bring him back, but the memories can't nobody take that. Now, Joseph's uncle tells me that Joseph leaves behind two sisters. He says their family plans on continuing his legacy through a clothing company that Joseph started. Reporting live in Northwest Baltimore, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.